<laughs> that was Yellow Submarine from the Beatles, from their brand new album, The Revolver. And I don't know about you, but I've got a sneaking suspicion it's going to be a great hit. And now on to our next scheduled broadcast. This is the Manga Raiders Happy Hour, and I do just have to warn you that there may be some strong language and some other content that might offend others, and it's not suitable for a younger audience. So if there are already children listening at home, I'd touch that dial, switch on to another station for another hour, okay? There might be some spoilers for any and all manga and anime, so if you haven't caught up with the latest episode of Astro Boy, I'd maybe just wait until you've done that. Take care, enjoy the show. Frick. Damn it, okay. <laughs> Frickin'. No way, okay, I know. No way. No, hold on. No! No, wait. Welcome to the show. Hey! <laughs> that's all staying in. I don't even in. know if he's doing it on purpose anymore. That's, that's all staying in. I don't care if it was an accident or not. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everyone. This is the 50th anniversary of the Mongerator's Happy Hour. 50th anniversary! <laughs> Going strong Yay. since 1966. I've been doing it since 66. <laughs> Hell yeah. Back when the Beatles really smells like teen spirit, I was listening to this podcast every week. We we, re- we recorded on the old wireless. We actually had John Lennon on. He was telling us all about how Astro Boy was one of his favorite uh, cartoons. We had to correct him. I went, yeah. John, John, sunshine, you've been taking too much acid, my friend. That's fucking anime, my, <laughs> my friend. And then he was like, and he was like... It was an awkward show. He communicated solely through uh, the medium of, of That's not musical how you play tomorrow never knows. Never mind. Never mind. And then we realized it wasn't actually John Lennon, but a leopard had snuck into the offices, and we were the ones high on acid. That's true. And we all were on acid. Turn off your mind, <laughs> relax, and flow. Okay, no, 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 I can't do this. Let's, let, no, Let's carry on. Forget about it. Ladies and gentlemen. Turns out it was just Vladimir Lennon, like he always does. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. You guys want to overthrow the bourgeoisie? No, Carl. God damn it. You and your commie friends get skedaddle. Get out of here. <laughs> if you're a communist, okay. do not listen to Get the fuck out of here. No, actually, you're all welcome. Everyone's welcome. Every person on the planet Hello, is Hello, Cubans. Welcome. How are you doing? Howdy, Cubans. I love you especially. I love um, Cuban beer. I've, I've been a proud proprietor of that fact for many years. Can you Americans still not go to Cuba? Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't because you have a now. kind of American y accent. Like anyone from, if you're from Canada, I'd still think you have an American accent. To me, you just sound American. Well, I don't know. So, you know, that could that could cause issues. Speaking of which, this is a manga and anime podcast, by the way. Welcome if you are new. Is it? it is. It is indeed. We've been going strong not since 1966, but since 2015, a year and a half. If you're wondering why we've been going for a year and a half up to episode 50 and you're new to the show, because we weren't always a weekly show, but never mind. My name is Simon, better known as Vacant, from com. I am a co-founder of the Happy Hour. Glad we've reached episode 50. It's a milestone, a proud achievement in my book. Um, unfortunately, our other co-founder, the Cornerstone Noisy, the more professional of the two, isn't here today because he crashed after about two days of no sleep. So unfortunately, he did really want to be here, but he is super, super, super busy. Um, we rest in peace. Well, literally, and sleep in peace, I guess. Like not so morbid, but no, he's still resting. In he peace, is right? tenderly resting in peace, I guess. But you know, the... at least he's not resting in pieces. That's true. Hopefully, he's not. Um, so I'll raise on this fiftieth podcast. We'd like to take a moment to remember our dearly departed noisy. <laughs> I like he, <laughs> he, he did. He's not. He's alive and well on noisy, and hopefully he'll be with us. You'll be hearing from him very, we very love soon. Noisy. <laughs> Then he died. But he's not here. But to our virtual left is the man who's keeping the 
who's got a longer streak than the Undertaker at WrestleMania of her Mangareda Happy Hour appearances. That man is Manimal. How's it going, good sir? Hold up. I'm, I'm eating Frosted Flakes right now. Wait. What's up? It's the Manimal here ready to jam and do things like that. It's going to be a freaking jubilation, a halation. Of inflation. <laughs> it's Manimal. And to, <laughs> to his left... Someone I probably should have introduced first because chronologically he appeared before Manimal. That's a man who has been on since episode one. The guy who brought credibility to the Manga Raiders Happy Hour when it was just me when it was just a pipe dream of me and Noisy. That is the moderator extraordinaire and science guy, I guess. Corin. That's a terrible introduction, sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know who you're talking science about. Guy. I am Lego. It is Lego. I have a cold oh right God, now. I'm stealing my animals. Hi. Hey, Lego, tell me all about Loomis. It's good. <laughs> How's the goth girl? You guys still hanging out? No, you see, I did the math, and it was really a 37-degree angle, which is a did big you, Did you accidentally open the manga the wrong way and had to run out of embarrassment? <laughs> it was upside down. Shit. You see, I pulled the mango from the shelf, old man, and it was bleach. Did you at least grab berserk? No, nah, man. You gotta if you're gonna impress the ladies, you gotta get bleach out. That's get your bleach out for the girls. That's that's the motto and the moral of the story. But no, we've got Corin. I hope you're well, my good sir. Very enthusiastic. To his left, probably his actual left or behind him or somewhere in the close proximity, closer than any of us fuckers are, anyway. Under his desk. One of my favorite Very... individuals in the whole wide world. Uh, as much as I love you all attend uh, here, you know, I have to say, uh, you know, one of my favorite individuals in the whole wide world it is Nairbonds. Hey, I'm coming to you live between the walls and Corin's house. <laughs> it's cramped in here and full of bugs, but mm, it's got a good view. <laughs> got a good. I have my little cameras everywhere, and it's great to see you all. <laughs> I like how you said got a good view as if you were spying on Corin. I got a good view at the shower room. <laughs> like I'm not? That's true. You would. You'd spy on your roommate. Why not? Devil's shower room? <laughs> okay, but you got hummus between the walls. That's quite impressive. I mean, it gets kind of hot, so I gotta put it back in the refrigerator after a while. <laughs> but it's still good. <laughs> and to... Oh, man. <laughs> Do you hear that? I think there's a bit of an echo in this room. I'm reusing the same joke I made <laughs> earlier. It's still bad. I'm sorry. Returning once again. That's right. It is good old Echo River. Hey, stop. Here to be the one with the resident cute voice while yeah. all of us just have... I have a really piercing voice, and everyone else just sounds pretty normal. I know that Choro is officially the first lady of the happy hour, and... Uh, Queen of Kawaii, but you can take that mantle from her, Echo. If you're more than her, you can just take it. I wouldn't want to. I'm not going to tell Choro that because I'm scared of Choro. (laughs) So I wouldn't. She can take it back, please. If anyone doesn't know, um, she is a mod on the Manga Raiders forum. If you don't know what Manga Raiders is, she is lovely. Why are you listening to this? Why are you here? No, there are people who don't actually know what Manga Raiders are and listen to this. Manga Raiders is a community of. Who are you? (laughs) Say hi. You can't sit with us. I'm talking to you now. You know who you are. Yeah. Get on the forum. There's a link under everything we have. Yeah, I, I oh, whore the name out like anybody. Um, but yeah, no, we're a community of, of artists and manga artists and writers or just fans and appreciators. But um, to our left, speaking of another member of the proud member of the Manga Raiders community, um, that is a person who is now four on the bounce if i'm right and that is malua hello i'm currently eating barbecue chips and i don't really have anything new to report that's cool that's cool you don't you don't need to it's a celebration get back we need nibbles on a, yep. on a party that's always what happens i heard nipples and that sounds wonderful nibbles, for the party. nibbles you need nibbles like chris and shit and finally, making his debut on a hell of an episode to do so, rounding out the cast of seven that we have at the moment, and that is Hope for Future. Hey, everybody. Hope for Future here. 
Um, also ask Kevin if you want to stop telling me hope or, you know, where it looks. We can, we can do whatever. Whatever you prefer, we'll call I you mean, on We all know each other's names, but we've been fucking Fair it enough. up for a year and a half now. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to go back. Let's go behind the scenes on the happy hour. Since this is episode 50, we're going to be celebrating some, some, I guess, the podcast itself. We're going to be doing some stats and stuff. We're going to lift the curtain. Let's go behind the, um, go behind the scenes. There was a debate, there was an official debate that took place very early on about whether we would use our names or if we would use our, our Manga Raiders forum names. In the end, we settled on Manga Raiders forum names because people may be more comfortable with that. Personally, I prefer just, I don't care, but I thought, why not use our real names? I'm Simon, you, you call me Simon, yeah. I'll respond, but call me Vacant too as well, why not? The thing is, I... I'm not sure if I've even said my actual name on here. I may have a few times, uh, but like I can't remember. I don't think you have. Um, I probably will just go by usernames. Yeah, usernames yep. is easier because some people may not want Malua to share. Is easy, it, it's close enough. If people just say like just hope it. randomly, I'll just like be thrown off because I'll be like, "Oh, you're talking to me? Oh, yeah, totally." Yeah, and the exact same when I that hear. <laughs> I've now, I've now um appropriated the um the word vacant. So when. Like, I was sitting in a meeting, and I kept hearing someone saying something about, they were on about just positions in the business, and they were like, okay, so if we change the structure of this, blah, 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 it's now going to be vacant. And I was looking up, like, what? What? What do you need? What do you want? And it's like, oh, shit, yeah, using the word as in it should be properly not as a name. Uh, never mind. This is why I chose a weird name. True. Shall we go through But that? isn't your name That's also right, the right, name right. of a Fire Emblem character? Yeah, that was weird for a while, but it's died off pretty quickly. That's a good question. Let's go around the table. Why did you, as people have heard our weird names, why did you choose your names? I'll go, f I guess I'll... Oh. Um, we'll start with Manimal. Manimal. Why are you the Manimal? It's pretty simple. Mine, I am the Manimal because I'm the Manimal. No, obviously, I, I named myself after the Wasp song of the same name, which used to be the coolest song ever when I was 13. And then I was like, this song is its kind of lame, but... Because <laughs> it's just... It's, um... Yeah, I don't know. Fair enough. It was named I, mean, I was born song. with this name. I was born, born with, this, with name, this name, so I just got to roll name. with it. Fair enough. Yeah, pretty much. Corin, a Fire Emblem character was that, or...? Yes. Fair enough. No, oh, as really? it turns out, I the name actually comes from a name I used for like role playing games back when I was a kid, uh -huh. and it just stuck. Like I don't know where I made it up originally, or what it was for, or how I came across it exactly. It just happened one day, as far as I remember. So yeah, fair enough. Um, nah. I've always been interested where your names come from. I don't know where it comes from. Uh, well, if you spell my name backwards, Holy shit. it's Nerb. But some asshole already took Nerb on every conceivable website, so I took a few letters of my last name and spelled them backwards, and now it's Nerbons. Holy shit! You're friends with me on Facebook? I am! Oh my god, it makes so much more sense now. Brian, this is like... I know. This is the worst reveal in the Da Vinci Code yet. <laughs> That's actually blown my mind. That is could be worse. It makes so much <laughs> sense guess. now. Snowbride. It's mostly because I I used to go by Albino Dino, and then on one website I realized that uh, I had misspelled it and forgot the B, so it was Albino Dino. So I said, screw it, I gotta come up with a whole new internet persona and erase this. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Um, so. <laughs> Echo. Where did Echo River come from? Um, hmm, that's a good question. That was a while ago I made it up. I first had the word Echo because I like the letter E. It's actually the beginning of my <laughs> real name. Uh -huh. but And then I like phonetics, so E in phonetics is Echo. But then when I first saw that, I was like, this is too short. Echo? Echo? Just what? So I, I just randomly picked another word, Echo and River, and just stuck them together like that, because they didn't have any other better idea. Fair enough, fair enough. That's good. Um, Malua? Malua and Milk? I think you've actually told this story on, on here um, yep. before. 
in case someone hasn't listened to previous episodes. Um, the story behind the username Malua and Milk is because Malua is very close to my birth name, except that my birth name has a short vowel instead of a long vowel because of its um, language of origin, but I've had many people mispronounce it upon looking at it, so much so that my friends turned it into a joke by purposely mispronouncing my w- name in various ways. And one of those was Malua, which sounds like the um, coffee-flavored alcoholic beverage known as Kahlua. And there's a cocktail called Kahlua and Milk. So instead of Kahlua and Milk, it is Malua and Milk. Fair enough. And finally, hope for the future. Or hope for the oh. future, sorry. Well, there it works. Uh, well, I'm not very good with making up names. So that, this is a kind of interesting one. Technically, my mom kind of came up with the username, but for, like, she made, like, a uh, account on, like, the PS3 when it was new, just to set it up, and she put, like, hope for future, and I was like, not bad, not bad, actually. And she had, like, a, she put, like, a duck on, like, a little avatar, and I was just like, okay, maybe not that, but, <laughs> uh, fair enough. I, I kind of like it, you know, it's kind of an optimistic name, just kind of like, hope for future, it you is. know, just kind of stuck in me. When I first saw it, I thought... This guy is going to be a missionary. He's got he's 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 got a statement, a mission statement that he's going to give us. <laughs> um, I guess with mine just vacant. I wish. Vacant was literally I couldn't think of a name, so I wanted a name that meant nothing, and vacant was what it was. I guess I didn't never really put much thought into it. I didn't think that it could still stick all these years later. Maybe because I didn't think I'd still be on the forum, but hey ho, Manimal's now flashing the cash. He's now throwing it at a figure of Azusa from Kaon. And he's now stroking her hair. Maybe she, I guess paying twenty dollars allows you to uh, to stroke her hair. I don't know. Anyway, um, moving on because a... this is episode fifty. <laughs> we did have plans that yeah, have yeah, changed yeah. at the very last second. <laughs> so should we throughout the throughout the episode we're going to be giving some trivia. Do you want some trivia, guys? Do you want? Shall we start with some trivia? Absolutely. Let's do some sure. trivia. Let's do some trivia. Shall we start with appearances? Trivia. Because we've got some interesting facts about appearances. Appearances. And you're going to make fun of the way we look. No, no. <laughs> this is episode 50. What guys didn't know is that episode 50 is going to be the roast. <laughs> it's going to be the roast episode. No, um, appearances. This whole next yeah. segment could be lies. Yeah. With the build up to the joke, appearances can be deceiving. <laughs> what I actually mean is this is how many happy hours members have attended. So as of today, episode 50... I can say See, that's gonna be easy for me. there have been 21, <laughs> 21 different people on the on the happy hour oh. over the 50 episodes. That's really cool to me. I think that's awesome. That's roughly 19 more than I expected at episode one. <laughs> 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 to be honest, that's the same feeling this with might me be and Noisy. Best anyway. <laughs> yeah. Totally me and Noisy. Glad I got my barbecue chips. We're, um, we're not expecting. Um... Can you guess oh, yeah, who's yeah. appeared on the most episodes? Is it you? It is me! How did you know? Yeah! How did we guess? Because you're on all of them. I am... I've actually been on less than I thought. Um, How many have you been on? I have been on, as of episode 50, I have been on 41 episodes. And that's just... Okay, that's just the n- numbered episodes. There's all the odd ones, too. Yeah, that's true. I haven't counted any of the days, 12 Days of Christmas or the After Hours or anything like that that we've done. Um, 41 episodes I've been on. Would you like to know who's number two? You could probably guess this one. This one's pretty easy. Is it Manimal? It's not quite Manimal, not yet. Lego, obviously. It is Lego. Uh, Lego's on there with shit. 26. He's leading the way. Um, it's a bit of a drop-off. There is a huge drop-off between it. <laughs> Do you know who's joint third? There is, there is three. There's people who are joint third. Uh, noisy, animal, M- not noisy. Manimal, and one of the uh, the other person is here. Corin, you are both fighting with woo! twenty-one appearances each. Twenty-one uh, appearances. Granted, I think Noisy's going to actually be on the bottom of the list, yeah. isn't he? Granted, Corin starts from episode one to now. Noisy starts like from. Uh, sorry, Manimal, you'll start from like about episode 30 odd and then it just keeps going. <laughs> like, you've been on huge amounts. Next to Sherbert and Noisy, tied for 17 apiece. Sherbert as well, he's kind of become a founder member. Sherbert's not here, by the way. We apologize, Sherbert. We love you. 
Rest in paint. He's yeah, Shibit's not <laughs> rest in your anger. Oh my god, that are wonderful. Shibit's uh, otherwise engaged. He personal reasons. Big shout out to Sherbert. Just know there's a lot Sherbert's of love for my engaged. friend. Sherbert's engaged. We should send him a wedding. <laughs> he's <present>. not. <laughs> he's an awesome, yeah, awesome individual. Like rest in peace. Um, I meant he's resting in paint next, because he recently painted his room. Next is <laughs> Nairbond with 12. You've been on 12 there. 13, sorry, with this one. That's... More than I thought. That's more than I expected, but also kind of less? I don't know. Yeah, you need to get more. Um... I, I want to. This, this work has been busy because my partner was very, very selfish and had to have a baby without even thinking about me. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. Right? It's hard to judge how many episodes we've been on just because there's like an hour and a half of actual episode and then three hours on either side we just sit here and talk. That's true. That is very, very true. And I have a lot of fun things to talk about if ever it... um. Whenever we're ready to start talking about just normal talking things. We'll get into it. We, 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 as you all know, anyone who's new to the happy hour, thanks for listening. Thanks for checking us out. We promise that we do talk about manga and anime eventually, but half of it is <laughs> shit talk. saying it when you <laughs> Half of it is shit now. talk. Um, so get used to it. But hey, fuck you. If you don't like it, turn off. No, please don't. Don't. No, don't. <laughs> don't turn Stop on. giving God them a dice. Get out of here. I don't want you Get here. the Screw fuck off. out of here. If you don't want to hear random guitar riffs and someone eating chips, then get out of here. Um, you'll be sorely disappointed. Don't don't it's not don't my fault you can't enjoy the luscious barbecue chips. Yeah, motherfuckers. Just deal with it, man. But yeah, no, 20, 21 people. I think that's actually pretty cool. That's a lot more than we ever expected. Hopefully that's going to grow. I mean... I kind of set milestones in my brain for where we're going to end up and how many people, but it's awesome that we've got so many people coming on. Um, awesome that we get people involved. So, yeah, and it's good. Hopefully, I like to think it. I like to think it's a positive for the community. It brings people together on Manga Raiders. We hear a lot of voices and get to know people over the uh, over that. And we also create an entertaining product. I'd like to think with some useful advice once in a while. So, moving on then. I guess that was just a bit of random trivia. Um, Manimal, you are actually with the biggest on like consecutive appearance streak at the moment. By the way, oh shit! Uh, Don't say that. You're gonna jinx it. You're not gonna be on the next one, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Like Fifty, and then like someone else takes over. Yeah, you 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 are on a huge streak at the moment, which is good. It's good. The secret is he doesn't have a life. True. Maybe <laughs> shots fired early. Well, <laughs> I mean, Corin comes equipped with shit. Corin comes ready, ready to fire. At least die a pair. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know. You Episode fifty roast fest. Hey, 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 hey! We're 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 all friends here. We're all friends here. <laughs> He's not my friend. He's not my friend. <laughs> Cleverly disguised, our no friends support group is a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's real smart of everyone here. <laughs> See, the thing about friends is that you treat them like your enemies. Except better. That's true. To be honest, there's a buffer zone with these. As the closer yeah. closer you get to each other, you'll probably notice the more comfortable and closer you get to people and consider them closer friends on here. Like that, I consider a fair few of you are close friends now. The more you just disrespect them and straight up treat them like shit. Like when you talk to them, like Lego is a brother. Like I love Lego to pieces, but he'll get shit from me. Like I'll give him shit all day long. He'll give it back, no. I'm, I'm saying that as if he's like an innocent victim. Lego quite often is the one who starts it. Good old Lego. Don't know where he is. He's probably... I'm sorry about my hair drill, Corin. I'm sorry. Don't worry about his username. Yeah. I don't know where Lego's gone. He's, um... See, uh, Lego's... I know the history behind Lego's username. Oh, what's Lego's That's username? Lego. <laughs> you see, Lego has very... Yeah. Lego is just more happenstance than anything. He just has lots of things that are blank maestro because he really wants people to call him maestro. <laughs> <laughs> Except nobody calls him maestro. No. So we picked a bad one in Lego because it's a much better nickname. Lego just sounds better than maestro. I'm sorry. That's just what you're going to be called. It does. Yeah, it does. And uh, isn't there the fun fact about the forum that he isn't even the first Lego guy? Like there was some. There is another guy Lego called Lego. Lego for a while. He he, somebody else beat him to it. I mean, they didn't stay around for more than 10 seconds, but... Hate campaign. It must have been a hate campaign by Lego. He got them out. He forced them out. Never mind. Um, but yeah, guys, how the fuck has the week been treating you? Manimal, we'll start with you because you were first anyway. 
<laughs> oh, okay. That wasn't well, that's been that was pretty normal. It's pretty normal week. I finished <laughs> Kimi Natodake yesterday. That was a pretty good show. Good show, Joe. Um, nice romance and everything. It was a really slow show. It took about eight episodes before it got good, but I did enjoy it. Now I'm rewatching the second season of K-On, which it's freaking phenomenal, dude. If you look at the directing of it all, it's it's just brilliant. Like, just everything that happens and the details in the animation. Oh, right man. Back. Yeah, I'm down for and, some K-On. Um, yeah, man. Uh, uh, I won't do my weekly show run on this episode. No. There's, not, there's not much to say anyways. Um, other than that, it's been pretty normal. Fair enough, fair enough. Corin, how's your week been, good sir? Oh, uh, well, since the last time I've been on, it's I've been, a while. been employed again. Hey! Woo! Woo! Big... More celebration. Bomb drop of whatever last time I was fucking on. So for all you listening who weren't actually here, I was laid off from my job because bullshit. It wasn't my fault. We lost like 25 people. Mm. But then I spent about a month unemployed, and then I got a job, and it's been busy. I got scheduled 45 hours last week and 50 this week. Ah, shit, Thanks. that's work, no, man, that's work. That's, I'm, I'm glad. I'm really happy to say that you got sorted there, Corey. It, yeah, it's nice. Doesn't leave I, free time, though. <laughs> no, not really. My last job was very light by comparison, did 40 hours left. I don't know if I'm ever going to see any of you again. <laughs> I love you all. Rest in peace. <laughs> On the bright side, I'm peace. getting overtime pay now, so money. Money, 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 money. That's always good. My only worry is how it's going to cut into my vacation time. Because I had unlimited vacation, now I don't. Oh. So, you get them bitches we'll a week out and you'll goes. be sorted. Oh shit, yeah, god damn it. Get that holiday in early. I know, right? You'll be sorted. I'll send you a lovely postcard. Oh! It depends how much I can accrue by the end by next February. Plenty, plenty, I'm sure. And you know, don't use for the holidays. Yeah, Dad, I'm sure there'll be plenty. There's enough for a week, I think. Hopefully, I'm relentlessly optimistic. I'm just assuming it's going to be okay. I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. Fuck it. For anyone who is unaware. Corin, as you probably noticed by now, I have an English accent. Corin has an American accent. So does everyone else here, pretty much. Um, except Man Emily might get offended. He's got a Canadian accent. Um, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gee, I don't think Jesus is going to be offended because I said that you had an American accent. Um, are you well, saying I have an American accent? <laughs> if you or excuse you are, me, I'm not the only Canadian in this call, you know. But, um, yeah, but... What we were referencing is, as you may have known, the Happy Hour went to LAGC last year. Corin and them uh, may be making special appearances as well, and we're going to be uh, hitting it up. Manga Raider style, it was pretty heavy last time. You're with a Scottish person who loves to drink. You're with a bartender from London who loves to drink. And a Stokey who loves to drink. So it's going to be good, hopefully. Fingers crossed. It's going to be awesome. Keep. I'll be designated driver of this group. Designated driver. <laughs> You can have a <laughs> near road trip part two. Speaking of which, oh no, no, oh no, <laughs> how was your week? Uh, really busy. Um, uh, the store I work at has had some big events, and I've been doing it solo because, again, my coworker has been out on maternity leave. God damn! But the the highlight was I got to try out the Sony virtual reality demo because I s- that was one of the people that came in, and that was really cool. How is it? Because I have really not. Pissed I didn't make yeah, it. Yeah, I'm so jealous. I have not tried virtual reality other than them shitty ones for smartphones that you put the goggles on. How is it? Um, I mean, I tried Eve Valkyrie, which is the space shooter sim. Yeah. So, like, the first thing I do out of the gate when I get full control is just loop-de-loops and twist and turn to see whether or not I can handle the, like, motion sickness. Yeah. And I can, Woo! but I've also never had a problem with motion sickness. And let me tell you, there were people in the store who had problems with motion oh. sickness. <laughs> 
Like th- it reminded me of when the Wii first came out, and they said, "Hey, we've got a remote control that's motion control," and mm-hmm. everyone kind of goes, "Okay, that's I want to try it," and they try it, and it works, and they go, "Okay, cool, I'm sold," and people were coming in, giving it a shot. And I, I think it could catch on. It's four hundred dollars in addition to the cost of a PS4, but that's still the cheapest starting from nothing to get to something that is out there. Yeah, VR at the moment is not going to be cheap. But I'm I, that's the problem because you ha- haven't had a chance to test it out. Like I've had no way to test it out until I guess it comes into stores. They'll give you a demo of it, but I am considering debating <laughs> dropping some money for it for the sony headset i'm so excited yeah, for, for fortunately there's another like two months until it comes out so while i'm still riding the high of i need to get this right now it costs more than 15 dollars, so i'm gonna second guess myself <laughs> into no longer wanting it until the urge goes away yeah. when it actually drops ah oh. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. Will I regret it? Is there going to be any games? I may wait till next year to get it. I might just wait. Yeah. Be patient. It needs games. That's the thing. There's no point in having it if you've got like the playroom, like on PS4 when you had the camera. So oh, you got the playroom. <laughs> what else have we got? N- nothing. So never mind. <laughs> but no, that's good. That's good. That's awesome. Um, I can't wait to try out VR. I really, really, really want to try. Echo, how's your week been? I have been enjoying my, my holidays. <laughs> still, since the last time I was on, I'm still just reading manga every day. And, oh, that's right, and drawing. Gotta get on some visual novel art soon. Oh, yeah, for the for the Manga Raiders visual novel? Yep, sprites and everything. That is still going. That's still, still bubbling under the surface. There is still steady progress. <laughs> I'd crack the whip, but I have no room to talk right now. <laughs> I've been too busy with work and being unemployed to actually do much. It's surprising how busy you are when yeah. you don't have a job. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Hey, how long did it take you to beat Final Fantasy Thirteen Lightning Returns all the way through? <laughs> you know, surprisingly, not that long. <laughs> like, honestly, if you put your mind to it, probably 12 hours. Really? I haven't played oh, yeah. Lightning Returns. Though. You can blast through that thing. It didn't seem as uh, as immersive or as long as Thirteen is going to be, so I guess it's basically Majora's Mask but Final Fantasy. So it's like meant to be replayed a bunch of times. Fair enough. I've got but it. But I heavily abused the freeze time feature. I've just thought I've got it somewhere. I I have it on on PS3. I think it's PS3 one or is it Final Fantasy Thirteen Two? I have. Is fantastic if you have a chance to play that one. I think I've got that one. I've got one what? of them on PS3. I don't know. Never mind. Um, no, that's cool. That's cool. The MR. Not, so at least, at least you're doing something constructive, then Echo. Um, work, working away still. And um, Malua, what have you been up to this last week? Well, um, this weekend I reviewed uh, someone's Ooh. first chapter for something. I also um, finally bought a bunch of things for going off to the dorms for college, which I will be leaving this Thursday, and will probably be set up by Thursday evening, but I have friends who are wanting to throw me a welcome back to the uni town party, which I am fine with because that means I'm not cooking. That's, I, know. You I mean, when I moved back to college, I didn't do anything for two days because I was in a drunken stupor. <laughs> I was going to say, you've got to have a party. Any excuse to have a fun fucking party. Come on. Exactly. And uh, I also did a doodle. Which I'm not exactly posting on MR yet because I can't get some of the proportions to look right. And I'm just like, fuck! <laughs> yeah, hasn't stopped anybody before. Yeah. I've, I've put art on there, so don't worry. Don't worry about it. I've put my own art on there once. There is an art thread for me buried deep inside the... Uh, Domi- dirty domains of the be- of the starter Manuel gallery. Manuel has like not as deep four... as mine. Manuel has like four threads for art, and most of them are locked, and I can't understand. He's got he's because I get embarrassed by the other ones and all the stuff that I say, so I end up wanting to make new ones. <laughs> it's just the cycle of things. I, mean, I haven't even freaking drawn in like two months. Like ah, I'm <sighs> I'm just done. 
Yeah, it's not about me right now. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we can get back to that. You're topic. focusing on music right now. It's okay. Yeah, as long as you're doing something, yeah. you're doing something, dude. Yeah, but I, I, it's, sometimes I don't like the fact that I do a lot of things, you know. I know what but you mean, not it's focusing. It's not about me right now. Okay, okay. Fucking hell. Manimal. It's about you. <laughs> not really. It's about hope for future. How's your week been, dude? <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot about me. Uh... <laughs> Don't forget about yourself. Shit, That's a horrible thing to do. <laughs> I just, I think everybody's like going around a circle, and I'm like, oh, I'm probably gonna be last anyway. And then it's like, oh. And Normally, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it's fine. I didn't really do anything this week. Like literally, uh, I caught up on like Bob Psycho and and tried to figure out the shit for White Crow's project too. Working on that. That's right. So behind. That's right. Oh, uh, so behind. Fair enough. That's but something... that's... Yeah, well. I was going to say, that's something we should probably mention. White Crow, for anyone who's familiar with the forum, um, we've probably we've had White Crow on a couple of times before. He does a sort of manga, a community-wide project where it's sort of not a role-play, but kind of, yeah. I guess. Um, kind of. Yeah, sort of, where you put in your original characters from your story and you sort of follow his story it's a really cool idea it's just gotten started the third and final arc that he's doing um so it's really cool we're all invited excited for that well at least a couple of us are anyway yeah um yeah yeah that's good it's been been good weeks all around then pretty much um we've had some good news i've made a big important decision today uh well last week i've officially started dieting i had a spur of a moment decision i bought some scales and i was like i'm finally gonna weigh myself because i know i've put on weight in the last year and a half since i started my like an office-based job where i sit down all day i've put on free stone like the translation uh, sorry I'll, tr- I'll translate that that is 36 pounds no first hang on it's so is it a stone 12 pounds 14 14 pounds and a stone so it's 39 pounds am i right is that right? Ugh. Am I? Ever... No, you're British. You tell me. Let me. Let me just add up. This shit. Fourteen times three should be forty-three. Forty-two. Forty-two. It's like twenty degrees Celsius. Forty-two, <laughs> 42 pounds. I've put on. She is nine kilometers fatter. <laughs> so that's that's not good. So I've officially cut out the calories. I'm I am really really dieting, which I hate, but whatever. Um, I've got to get back Skip into it. Skip meals. You've got to, you've got to, you've got I've to look been... after yourself. I understand. Been, uh... I know I'm talking like knee deep in my puddle of hummus and pita <laughs> chips, but I get it. I was just like, God <laughs> damn, I need to start focusing on what I'm eating again. And yeah, just cutting out just so much shit is, uh, is, is better, but I feel healthier. I feel more energy. I feel more productive, which is probably why I've picked up the first project i posted on manga readers the shonen manga that i'd done and i haven't written anything for since september of last year finally decided to write something again i just thought fuck it let's just go back into it because i was like i can't remember where i was so i had to reread everything and just go back into it which was no easy feat it's annoying when you have to read 36 chapters of your own work and go fuck's sake um but yeah that's good i'm glad i got got the we- um, wheels turning again now i do want to write some more so it's al- it's always good when you do that um speaking of which i was gonna ask a question i've totally forgot what it was now i had a writing project that i was working on but uh when i started picking up uh learning german on duolingo i kind of left off on writing the fan fiction that i've been working on to help me learn pacing but yeah, we should probably talk some manga and anime. We should. Yay! What's hey, everybody hey. been watching? Oh. Well, for those who part. haven't... Everyone who hasn't been keeping up on the forum, I have now started my own review thread where I will watch an anime and give uh, an honest review. So far, I've only reviewed two anime, both by JC Staff and both One about vampires. Studios. Yeah, uh, both about vampires. Uh, Yami no Matsue had a vampire in the first three episodes as a plot device to introduce the main antagonist, so that counts. And then uh, Shingetsutan Tsukihime was, well, based on the visual novel, but it did a very, very terrible job of explaining anything. 
Good job. I've actually been watching a lot of stuff from this season comparatively to what I usually do. I am watching the good shows this season. I'm watching the whole. Well, I guess JoJo is still last season, but it's still going, so yeah. I guess it counts. But I've been watching JoJo Berserk and uh, what's it? B- b- Mob Psycho. Yeah, Mob Psycho. And I guess I've been watching another one oh. called Twin Exorcist, which is technically from last season, but again, still running. Oh, that show stinks! I dropped that after like five episodes. Mm. Yeah, it's from a guy who I really like the. One of the previous things he wrote, Binbo Gamiga, so I'm kind of stuck with it. Your loyalty. You've gone yeah, all in it, on it now. Um, I found it pretty boring myself. I don't know. Well, it's that weird exorcist show genre that somehow has just happened. It's, the main guy is, is so boring and oatmeal. He's like, I don't want to fight anything, but he's actually the strongest on Earth. Like, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I secretly adore that trope. Yeah, well, I don't like shows like that anymore, I guess. I'm really not into action or shonen anymore. I only watch... Yeah, you've kind of t- turned away from action, haven't you, Dan? What? what the hell was that? That was amazing. <laughs> Whatever that... What was that? I... That was alien abduction, legitimately. I think Hope or Future is secretly a Transformer. What? Are you still there, Hope? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just okay. Who, this guy. <laughs> who got who got <laughs> abducted? Abducted. It was a huge I shit myself. I, I was... sound or something. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a fucking transformer or some shit. Yeah, that was crazy. I don't think that was me, but um, whatever it was, it was freaking incredible. Now back to my point. I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> You don't like action. I know that I don't like it. You're an I'm just not hater. really into it anymore. I have no interest in watching shows like that. Just admit. Just admit you're an action hater. I shouldn't be banging on that. My favorite show is Gurren Logan. Jesus Christ. It's not your, really Your favorite action. show is Gurren Love Logan. Live. Let's be real with ourselves. Love Live is probably yeah. in on my top ten, actually. I thought your favorite was White Gurren Album Logan. 2. White Gurren. Album 2 is number 4 behind. Okay, my top 10 is Gurren Logan, <laughs> Full Metal Panic, Clan Adapter Story, White Album 2, Shock and Oshana, Little Busters, Dragon Ball Z, Evangelion, K on, and in Love Live. <sighs> I see like one of the. Okay, so you've got. I'm making that up pretty fast. <laughs> Evangelion and Dragon Ball Z. It's like, okay. My internal okay. kingdom hearts number... is just going, got it memorized. <laughs> number, number, number 2. On my list is sold out online. That's oh my god, fuck like you. <laughs> I've got good taste. Me and Asana are um, very acquainted. So, I'm basically triggered. You know. Well, let's be honest. She's not acquainted actually... with anyone. <laughs> no, she threw her clothes off and the dude didn't even do anything. <laughs> Hold on, Kiriko. I know, I know, I know um, Sherbert brings this up as a point that he doesn't oh, want to see two 15 year olds or however old they are having sex, but I'm like, come on! It happens in real life. It does. He doesn't do doesn't anything. Mean... He doesn't make it approach. It's you don't have to see it. Just imply it. I, I, what are you That's guys true. talking about? It's not, it, it's not as romantic I, I when, mi- you're I miss, when you're 15. I missed that. What are you, what are you talking? Underage sex. Oh. Never mind. So let's, when the live action adaptation quick. comes out, are we going to get to hear that two years of semen glopping noise? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, news, <laughs> there's a live-action adaptation. What the fuck? I mean, it's just to be expected of a popular series. What sort of? How? Is it like a Japanese live-action? it's action? a popular is it like best selling series. Why don't well, it Is it going to have, a, is it gonna have like, a good budget? Is the CG going to be Wait, is this terrible? a Japanese one or... Yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah. They Japanese. have like a have billion live-action Jap- films. It's just going to be some corny production that everyone's going to forget about as soon yeah. as... It... I don't know. Into a series? Like a live-action series, not an actual film? I don't know. I don't know, because the news for this know. one came out right around the same time as all the new Death Note live-action news, and I kind of confused the two. Well, there's a live-action... Yeah, the, the new Death Note. They, they have a freaking billion live-action adaptations. Fuck off. Is there? There is. So there are lots of live-actions. They, they did a live action. There Nana was even a live action. Maria Samagami Teru. They mostly just suck though. Maria Samagami Teru. Yeah, they're mostly I mean, terrible. I think they did a Future Diary one. Like Miraniki had a live well, action. I mean, that shows shit. No matter what you do with it, it's all right. Holy shit! No, no, no! I stand corrected. I, I absolutely stand corrected. I apologize. 
Sword Art Online gets a live action American TV series. No, that's oh my god. American I American. Until I see it. I just remember the writer Sky talking Dance. about how she was so inspired by all the wonderful storytelling of the original. Is yeah, that um, it is. It? Yeah. Apparently, it is, um, yeah, Skydance Television announced that it's acquired the global live-action rights to Sword Art Online Skydance, from Katakawa. Really? The company plans to fast-track the launch of a live-action television show. Television uh, apologies show. if I've mispronounced this name. Leito Cal- Calogridis, who apparently was affili- write- affiliated with writing Terminator Genesis and Avatar, is writing the script, and executive producers, along with David Ellison, da- Dana Goldberg, and Marcy Did you say Rose David Ellison as in the Megadeth bassist? Uh, yeah, apparently it is the Megadeth bassist. No way. So That's a joke. No, I don't. You said his name know. wrong. I don't fucking know. <laughs> David Ellison. That's what it is. That's, that's the name that's in front of it. There may be one more. There may be more than one David Allison in the world. I'll fucking put your name in the chat. Okay, and that's we'll see what threat. happens. I'm gonna put Manimal. That's a threat. <laughs> I don't know your real name. <laughs> there. How about that oh, name? Oh, that's Ellison. How like I, I meant Elfson or uh, however you say. Danny okay, Elfson. Never mind. Mind. Brilliant me. composer. The, the um, new star yeah, of so the sort of it's gonna be American. Show is Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito as Kirito. I would watch the fuck out of that oh, shit. <laughs> that'd be brilliant. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Now you're going to be disappointed if that's not the case. Asiner, we've had a great idea. We need to get up on the other level and kick the fucking shit out of that gleam eyes. I should really quiet down. It's almost free. Free I am. I just want to see um, the always sunny in Philadelphia of the gang get stuck in Sword Art Online. Always sunny in Eincrad. That needs to be a spinner. Charlie, oh God. I'm going to be My the favorite. Black Swordsman. It'll work. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite episode is the wrestling one when he hits the guy with the trash can and he just slices his throat. Yeah, I'm the trash man. man. No, garbage. Trash oh, man, that's it. Shit. I'm the trash man. Eat the garbage. <laughs> <It's brilliant. laughs> oh my god. I need to watch some Always Sunny. Always Sunny is brilliant. Watch it if you haven't got it. It's on Netflix, so there's no excuse not to watch it. Unless you're like um, me and you don't pay for subscriptions to things, so I don't have a Netflix, a Hulu, or an Amazon video. But how are you going to watch Stranger Things? Because I just binge watched all eight hours of that yesterday, and it is as it good? close to perfect as I think I've ever seen. It's really I've heard good. I've a lot of good things about it. It's one of those that's getting into overhyped territory because I'm like, everyone's saying it's so good. It almost makes me not want to watch that it. That is me all the time ever. Don't be the contrarian that I am. Watch it. Just do it. Do it! I will I will no. find time. It's not going to be I've like Undertale watching... where it gets way overhyped and it's just kind of okay. It's mm. really good. It's like those... I've started. One thing about Undertale. People be like, oh, it's the first game to make you question your decisions and blah, blah, blah. And then someone like pointed out one of the early Metal Gear games, and I just laughed super hard. Have you never played video games your entire fucking life? You... Somebody it makes one of the games because... has made you question your decisions before fucking Undertale. I mean, I was Shin Megami say, Tensei a fucking had you talking your way out of fights on the Super Nintendo. Pretty much. And like... So, uh Then there are... It, it's like the same kind of people who are like... Frozen is the first Disney movie about sisterly love, and I'm just like, did you fucking miss Lilo and Stitch, you twit? Is that movie about sisterly yeah, love? Don't, don't Stitch Lilo was an and alien. Stitch. I didn't watch that movie. I don't know what's well, going on. Stitch is actually her sister. Oh, well, really? There's also the fact that her older <laughs> sister Lonnie is the one who takes care of her. I thought I was a mom. I mean, they were the bad guys, but there was some mom. sisterly love going on in Cinderella. Yeah. That's true. That is <laughs> one form of sisterly love. Well, Toy Story. Toy Story had Andy. He had a little sister, but I'm sure he loved her. He seemed like he liked her. But the overall point is that you know, 
some things that people see that are new in the media just means it hasn't been done in five years. The general critics, or at least in their eyes. This is the same with the Ghostbusters whole thing, sure, where they're like, sure. these are strong in the these are strong female protagonists that women can get no, behind. And I'm like, are you kidding? Yeah. You say there's never been a group of strong females in sci-fi before. And it's oh like, did God. you ever watch Terminator? Oh. Alien? <laughs> like, oh any of these Sarah things? Sarah Connor was the biggest, exactly. badass female role mor- 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 I had growing up. Sigourney Weaver in Alien. <laughs> Fucking badass. Like, why are people like, oh, no, none of that ever happened. None of that ever existed. It's like, come on. Because people uh, don't pay attention, and then they miss shit. There's also this it's also whole, the, you if know, it's from before 1995, things. it's terrible. That's true. That is true. Speaking of anime... People also tend to be so in the now that they forget things that happened more than five years ago, and they just kind of have that narrow focus of, man, this has never been done before. I forgot my own birth already. Yeah, I forget forget (laughs) my shit. I mean, I don't remember being birthed. Do you remember the hospital room you were born in? I remember coming out. No, but I remember being, like, two... I remember Extrapolate being... a little. That, that wasn't the point of my joke. Can we move on? Please? Never mind. <laughs> Speaking of anime, I have been watching, I've been re-watching, rather, Attack on Titan in the English dub. <laughs> and I'm not sure oh. how I feel about it. Oh no. This Why is... would you do good. that? Some of the casting was good. It's because it. I'm watching it with, um, with, with my girlfriend, so we just watch it in the dub version. Aaron still just fucking... I can't deal with Aaron. He's just a whiny bitch all the time. Do you know who's in the voice cast? Anyone okay, notable? Trina. I, I, um, Mikasa's fine. Trina. Trina, Trina so, Nishimura. Yeah, sure, that one. Um, it's a Funimation dub, right? Yeah, Trina Nishimura is an American voice actress. Armin? Armin's okay. Armin's okay. Armin's voice was great. The His is, scream was better in dub. The tone the tone that they do, um, everyone goes from zero to shouting very, very quickly on the show, and it really grates on me because it's really noticeable. I know when... It, and I'm sure the sub was. I mean, it's been a few years since I watched it, but... Ah, oh, it just... I'm just like, come on, guys. You're just talking about fucking... You watch Dragon Ball Z, though. They went from zero to shouting approximately every 30 seconds. Yeah, but it that was, was badass, awesome. Though. Sean Chamel. I could listen to Sean Chamel just powering up. He does like, have a mighty scream. <gasps> like that. I, I just imagined that they caught him going to the toilet or something. Like, you know... I could wa- I could listen <laughs> to it. Sean an Chamel. Sean Chamel is um, the guy who does Goku. <laughs> Okay. Here, just and here, then Chris Chanel, Sabat does everyone else. Three whole. It's like I know the history of the guy who did Trunks. <laughs> His Trunks just kind of fell ass backwards into the show. Trunks is awesome. Fuck. It. Speaking yeah. of which, Dragon I Ball Super. Did you met Trunks? I met the dude who did Trunks. I went to an anime convention and he talked about how he got into voice acting. Really? Bas- basically, he went to college for to be an actor. And then he worked at a pizza joint for the next couple of years because, of course, he did. <laughs> and then a friend of his was, like, visiting College Town again. And she's like, hey, you should try out for this. I hear they're taking anybody. So that's how we became <laughs> And he like, love- walked in and they just had me scream for five minutes. If someone doesn't like, know any scream the longest. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that the casting process was just stand here, scream into this microphone for 10 minutes, and then whoever's left standing gets the role. That's brilliant. I'd love to see that. I guess that it sounds just about right for Dragon Ball. With no context as well of Dragon Ball Z and what it is, I guess like it would be so confusing just going in. Okay, right, so you have an energy blast coming out your hands, right? Um, but to summon it, you need to <laughs> scream really loud and long because it's going to take most of the episode that's always the rule that is the golden rule of dragon ball z if an attack starts with a scream it's not going to finish till the next episode you're going to do a lot of screaming <laughs> which i believe it was currently told us that the the people who the original japanese cast were old ladies i think he said it was that me one. or nair i want to say yeah we might have both been there at the same oh, time old ladies and I just like the idea that in a recording studio somewhere in Japan, there are some little old ladies screaming their hearts out, declaring war on Freezer. I mean, See, hold on a sec. Going into the voice acting because it's something that I've done for a hobby for a while. You done voice acting? As a hobby for some friends, mostly just little skits that we make up. Manga Raiders abridged coming soon. 
Yes. God, can we even abridge ourselves? <laughs> no, we're not abridging ourselves. We're abridging popular series. We're piggybacking off the animation of other people. <laughs> <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't stupid. I mean, we, we did do go... that one video of us just like talking in a bar. We could do more of that. That was um, yeah, that was horrible because it didn't sync up well at all. That was my very beginning it, ability. It was that, that about a monster as high good though? as Team Four Star was when they started? That was me first learning how to fucking edit a video. I I look back at that. I actually, funnily enough, I watched that video recently and cringed like fuck because <laughs> I was like, "Good lord, this is terrible." How many views does it have? I don't know. That's not many. Question. Let's hope it doesn't have many. 40, 50? Uh, I don't fucking know. It ain't got many because it ain't got no tags on it. I'm about find out. Oh, wow. We have 10 more subscribers on YouTube than the last time I checked. Yeah. Dude, in the last... In the last um, every do, you time... have the, do you have the stats for all the other places we're on? Like the big ones? Uh, like iTunes. I don't have any stats for iTunes because I have no idea how to get stats for your R. RSS it has feed. 49 views, well, which is go. better than some of the regular episodes. Okay, stats time. Stats time. Then that's a that's a good thing. I um, we can we can go through stats. Obvious what transition is obvious. It's this is a really good transition. This is we can go through some stats. This is a hang on. So we went onto YouTube in August or September of last year. So we're coming up to about a year on YouTube. Funnily enough. And um, we have, on all videos, 4,414 views. So that's not bad. That's four, over 4,000. That's, 4, that's respectable. That is not bad at all. 4,000! How bad I am at tagging, and we don't really self-whore ourselves out. Um, Stats-wise, in terms of SoundCloud, which is the first place that we uploaded the podcast, um, we are in total. And also, I should mention SoundCloud, I don't, I don't include that link anywhere, so that is just hovering, and that is 1,814 views, or 1,814 plays. We're also on geekpress.co.uk, we are also on Stitcher, we are also on Player FM, we are also on iTunes, and I aren't able to get any stats from them. Podbeam we're on, um, which doesn't really give you stats. I think there's like, we've been on there for a few months, and we've had a couple hundred views on there, um, in ter- well, plays and download so we're doing okay um what i really like about the youtube video uh, the youtube channel is every time we've posted a video the last few weeks like last five or six weeks we gain at least one subscriber which is pretty i know it sounds like nothing but every week consistently like before we know it, if we get to the end of the year we're gonna have an extra 20 30 subscribers and then you got 60 then if we get closer to 100 then who knows we never know also, we should probably say, speaking of speaking of the YouTube channel, it's about to grow even further. Echo River is um Are you the host, Echo? Or who who's the figurehead of, of the new project? Echo River, Miss Churo and Robin Ryu have come up with a brand new project, and I'm gonna give the floor to Echo so she can explain exactly what it is. Oh, where what what it is? Well, basically, um I don't remember when it was brought up. I think, um, um, Robin was, uh, no, wait, Robin? I got the idea from listening to one of the casts, and you're like, we should have more girls on regularly. So I heard that, and, uh, went to Churro, I was like, hey, how about, we're not really good by ourselves, so we decided to invite Robin in. Oh, and so it resulted in the... First, all girls, uh, community. It's not happy hour. It's called the tea room. It's the tea room. Woo! <laughs> Woo! The Manga Raiders tea room is a girls only. <laughs> From what I've Which gathered, means I can just barely pass in through. Yeah, Malou is allowed in there. Nomena can go in. Um, so no, there's a sign at the top of the treehouse that says "No boys allowed." I can't remember who it was, but Robin or Churro have 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 said that there is no boys allowed. We're not allowed. The happy hour is the boys club. Tea room is a more... Basically, if you've ever listened to the happy hour and 
don't like swearing, or you... There are some things sometimes, some topics or get a bit... just thought we're a bunch of tossers. Yeah, if you think that we are just a-holes and just dickheads, which generally, at least for myself, yes, that's true. Oh. I can't defend that. Um, and you want a more PG version of a, of a manga and anime podcast? The Tea Room is going to be the place to go. Um, it's going to be really interesting, um, hopefully. Um, which is going to be interesting if I ever get on, because my mouth, it does what it wants. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we are planning to invite you, Malua. Yeah, yes. it's going to be... It's going to be it's really going to be interesting. The greatest mistake you ever make. <laughs> I am so really. The question is: Are we splitting up like all the accounts? Or are you going to be all your separate? Oh, I don't know. Um, that's Does it feel like we should should probably like combine forces on that one? I don't know. We should do. Yeah. Do you? You should probably put that on the um on the Manga Raiders channel, then I guess. And we now could upload it on Happy Hour as well. Put it on both. We Lock should it. keep them separate but equal. That's never had any issues in the world. <laughs> Segregation, strongly for every, encouraged by man. For every reasons. view we get, they'll get three and three fifths views. What? Fuck it up. Three and three fifths? No, what? I just stuttered. Don't what have you just told me? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, sure. No, we could. Um, it's it's yeah. That's a good idea. It can go on to um. It can go on to the main site. That's actually a good idea. I need to send is, you. What did you do with Podkai? What did we do with Podkai? Well, we picked a perfect time to start a Bleach Weekly podcast. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, man. Um, what we should do is just find a new one that's starting and just roll with it. There is Black Clover that started that people are touting as like the next big shonen. The has anyone read Black Clover? No, not. Well, let's get in on the ground floor. Okay, so nobody. It's I've read the first volume. I bought the first volume. It's just really by the numbers, shonen. Like it's so by the numbers. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. Like it's not bad. It's just yeah. No, that's what you'd expect. No, that's how I'd start first chapter. No, that's setting up. Like there's not yet been something that I go. I really like that character, or I really like that idea. There's not really anything that they've done. Granted, I've only I'm the first volume only has five or six chapters in, so and I think it's only like up to about forty chapters anyway. Like, so it's not been go it's been going since last year. So maybe I guess we could start that one. Perhaps maybe even I was going to say fairy tale, but fairy tale uh, probably going to end. That's, that's pretty up there at this point. Um, it's One Piece. While. Yeah, One Piece. We could do One Piece, because One Piece will never, ever, ever end. <laughs> no, just you wait. We'll start it. And two weeks later, it's gone. I was going to say, to be fair... Please do it. Given... Please do it if that's the case, because, like, it's been over 500 episodes, and they still haven't found One Piece. Oh, it's been over 800 chapters. And there's, like, two piece. Three piece. I'm we're, Two we're piece gonna spin off. Piece at this point. <laughs> because we're all going to have to read That's 800 true. chapters to even start. Unless we just start commenting without reading anything beforehand. Well, by the time we get caught up, it will be finishing. That's true. I, I At the moment, I'm not into oh, reading uh, 800 chapters. I just can't. I can't do that to myself. I'm already trying to catch up on a few things. Like I say, I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to do my best to keep up with the summer season because I did promise Manimal that I was going to write some first impressions. I am still going to Manimal, but yeah, we could definitely try that. Like there is a lot of ideas. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I'm doing. Like I speaking of rereading things, I'm rereading the entire final arc of Bleach. The all 200 and whatever chapters it is, because I'm doing a video that is taking so much time of mine just to fucking plan it, and it's how they should have ended Bleach, and I'm go covering the entirety of the final arc and what should have changed, in my personal opinion, and it's going to be like half hour long. It's going to be a pain in the ass, but it's fun. It's how far in are you? <laughs> Not far at all. <laughs> like at the beginnings, I've read about 30 chapters in, and I basically I'm p picking things off the top of my brain that I think that they could have done better, but I'm keeping all the major plot points. Sure. But uh, speaking of Bleach, someone said that August was going to be official um, Bleach Month. Bleach Month or something. I resurrected a dead thread for you guys. You're welcome. Which one? I don't know. 
What was it? This could be dangerous. So, it was like the what's your favorite bleach couple or whatever the fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> It was started by some Okahime fan. Oh, fuck that. Can you get- You crazy monster. Uh, my... What's the name of the karate girl who kind of got forgotten because she was one of Ichigo's school friends? Uh... You mean best girl? Tatsuki? Tatsuki, yeah. Tatsuki was cool. Tatsuki needs more screen time. She does. Tatsuki ain't gonna get no more screen time. Oh, Hinata? Screen time. Hinata, Hinata and you know who else Hinata. needs Hinata. more screen time? That's fun. Yeah. Hinata. The... Chad? Her and Chad would make a good couple. They're the characters oh I can God, still yes. stand. Yes. I, I can you know see those getting together them? in uh, afterwards. Wait, is there an actual Bleach character name? Name that? I was just, I was name just joking. Name what? Tatsuki? Name what? Uh, n never mind. <laughs> Chad? <laughs> there is Chad. Chad was cool and up until the Soul Society. Chad arc, the and then... Chad's my favorite vocalist in no, history. No, he was the coolest in the Soul really Society. Up he got his ass in his music. beat by Kyoraku. Which made me love no, Kyoraku. Wait, who? Shunsui. Oh. I mean, of course he did. He's Kyoraku. But he was cool to, up to that I, that's point. That's what I meant. He was cool up to that point. You can't go against one of the... And he still, like, gave him a running for his money. He did. That's fair. My he had that whole character. big sweeping punch thing. Uryu, Uryu's fight with Mayuri is still my favorite of the entire series, I think. That was fantastic. That was an amazing fight. Uh, my favorite fight thus far, considering that I'm only at about episode 86 and on volume 12 of the manga, um, my favorite fight thus far that I have seen is Yoroichi voice versus Soifone. Because that was, cool. that was an emotional fight, and I loved it. And I made... Uh, hello, everyone who's suddenly stumbled into the editing lab. You aren't supposed to be hearing this. Unfortunately, the recording has stopped, so you've missed the happy hour challenge and trivia games where Vacant won and beat everyone and proved his superiority and just his all-round greatness. Stop Isn't Vacant a great guy? I'm going to stop talking now because, unfortunately, we lost a lot of audio. Please enjoy these adverts before the end of the show. Which, which, bu which button do I that press one, that one, for this? Fucking idiot. Why, that why one. is this happening Shut again? That one. Ah, this one. You're getting so fired. Are you looking for a birthday gift or Christmas present for a child who is socially estranged and or awkward? Does he happen to be between the ages of 13 to 30? And has an interest in Japanese cartoons? Well, we've got the new dopest rap album. It's the Happy Hour Freestyles. It contains a vast catalogue of incredible rhymes and beats from people such as Vacant with his Sword Art Online Isn't PG-13 freestyle. Sherbet Lemon with his drunken Scottish ramblings, which when put to a beat kind of sounds like a rap. There is Noisy's absolutely not written freestyles. And of course, who could forget Lego's Rough Rough Ribbit beat. Yes, all these are available. And if you order now, you will receive Nebons' new country album, The Non Soup Blues. Order now, why stocks last, and just in time for Christmas. And your child will be just as uncool as he was before. Today, there is roughly two people in the UK alone who suffer from sequelitis. This is a very real and very serious epidemic that is sweeping the nation, as well as the globe. People wake up and watch an anime and excitedly wait for the next sequel, only for it to never arrive, and news never comes. This is Simon. He has been waiting for season 3 of Haruhi Suzumiya for the last five years, and this is what he had to say on the matter. <gasps> I lost my house, I lost my wife, and I lost my kids because of the shit, man. It just don't ever come. Why? Why? 
As you can see, this man is lost. But with your help, and just a donation of £250 every day, we can give this man the help he needs. Just visit www.sequelitis, Attack on Titan, Why Don't You Ever Come Out, Season 2.com for more information. Thank you. Let's wrap this shit up. It's been episode 50 in the books. Here's to another 50, um, which will be roughly around the same time next year. But we've got a lot of landmarks to hit in between that. We have Halloween, where we'll be having some contests. We'll have, obviously, the 12 Days of Christmas. We'll have our year-end awards again. We're going to have to do that because that was a fun one. Um, Of course, we're going LAGC and we're going to be doing a live podcast from there, potentially. I'm saying that as if it's fact. Haven't contacted them yet, but fuck it. We've got a global audience, so, you know. My leverage is we've got guys coming from the other side. We've got guys coming from America to come do this. Come on. So we'll do that. That'll be brilliant. Um, And then, of course, the second year anniversary of of Manga Raiders and more guests and stuff that we're doing. So all good shit. What do you mean second year? It's been 50. Sorry, the the 52nd year will be coming up. The The official official anniversary of the the podcast, March 14th, will be coming up. So... Uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, guys. Is there any parting shot from you guys? I got a little song to play. I'm gonna play that with a little song. But if anyone else has anything to say, um, I'm not, going to say really. that it's been a good 50 years, guys. <laughs> I know we're we're all in our 70s now, and we're just <laughs> waiting for uh, all, some of us to start for dying. Death. So the last of us. Can, Claim, claim all change. the gold that we stashed in Lego's grave. Uh, I think Lego's the only person that we didn't declare it's dead. It's been a good 50. <laughs> Lego's officially died in 1998. Oh, 98. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> that was that was like the, the worst era of the podcast was the 90s. Yeah, easily. we went through that Britpop phase. Yeah. It didn't work out well. We, we were too good it's, in the 80s. We didn't of really America. have internet yet, so we just had that mail subscription <laughs> service where we'd all send out little cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pain to add it together. Admittedly, <laughs> admittedly, we should have thrown in our lot with Betamax. Maybe we should have yeah, seen that VHS thing. <laughs> I remember when we tried to do the first video cast. No one could figure out how to edit it. Eight tracks making a comeback. Yeah. Just I tell wait. you what, if anyone tweets us, if anyone tweets us directly... And DMs us with a message and says they want this this episode on cassette. I will record it and send it out to you on cassette. I am that's a promise. That is a happy hour promise. We, we will put that bitch on vinyl yeah, if you want I will, it. I will put that fucker on the eighteen the eighteen disc vinyl set. And now, I can actually put it on the tape. I make mixtapes all the time. Yeah, god damn it, <laughs> that wants it. I'm going to ship this fucker. Do you know what, though? I will ship this shit on cassette to you. See, hold up. <laughs> Unrelated, but this is why I love my friends on Facebook. Most people have those Facebook friends that they're just like, ugh, and they hate seeing posts from. But I have this metalhead friend who shares wonderful things. And she just shared a thing that has this picture from a Tool music video and says, listen to Tool and chill. Like the Netflix and chill joke, but listen to Tool and chill. That's nice. We're trying to end the show here. I know. It was Thank unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> That's the final words from my <laughs> Okay, thanks for listening, guys. Take care. Thanks for listening. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 I already went on a tune, it's over. Damn.